What's up? This is Brian again. Um, here for our second video update for the Small Town America Tour, Submission Red, with featuring um, Submission Red, Mag Drive, and Seventh Day Slumber as the headline, and a few others, but I haven't really hopped on yet. So this is video update number two. Um, so basically, if you haven't seen the first one, I would suggest you see the first one before you see this one, just because it talks about what happened last week, and this is week two. So basically, this week, nothing really happened like on like Monday through Wednesday. We were just kind of we we stayed out of stayed at our host home in Texas for a while, and just kind of sat around and just hung out for a while. What happened, what really made the week was what happened on Wednesday, uh, kind of in the afternoon, nightish area. We, as you know, we had trailer problems, and um, I mean, I guess it's all over the internet already anyway. So what happened, what basically happened was the front end of our trailer just caved in so you can literally like put your hand into the front of the trailer because it was just separated from the actual trailer itself the 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 floor of the trailer was basically separated from the trailer itself so, so it was all just dragging so our trailer is basically our trailer is basically done and we for a while we didn't have a trailer so what had ended up happening was on Friday um, the um, Chad the um, the um, Chad Finner he's the host home that we stayed at he brought over a U-Haul for us because he, he's good friends with Submission Red and he's good friends with Devon and Ryan so he came over and brought a U-Haul and he like saved our lives basically we well, we had um, Thursday night when this happened. We had went and um, one, once the, once it happened, we had to grab the majority of our stuff and just um, find the nearest hotel, which happened to be like two miles away. So it wasn't that bad. So we just found the nearest hotel and packed as much stuff as we could in the van and did two trips and just go to the hotel room and pack all of, our, all of our stuff into the hotel room and we just got as much as we can we did two trips and we didn't get everything but we got the bulk of it because we were just gonna come back in the morning when we got the U-Haul so and not to mention um, I mean not to be superstitious or anything but this ended up happening literally around like 12.03 on of Friday the 13th which we just thought was funny I mean, we don't really believe in superstition or anything, but um, yeah, just thought it was kind of funny. And that was that was Thursday night, Friday morning of last week. So then, fr um, Friday morning, Chad came over and brought the U-Haul to us, and we packed everything in there. We went back to the trailer and packed the rest of the trailer stuff into the U-Haul. And then we dropped the trailer off by the hotel that we stayed at, and just kind of left it there because it doesn't. It's it's literally broken. You can't do anything to fix it. Um, I mean, um, Seventh Day Slumber came over um, that night and took a look at it to see if they can weld it up, which was great. Was great that they offered, but um, we told them like there was no way it was going to happen. And they ca they even came over and was like, wow, it's yeah, this thing is done. So we had no trailer for a while, except for the U-Haul that we rented for a few days, for just like the weekend until we played the rest of the shows that week. So, um, and you know, all the other information about last week is in last week's video. So. I'd suggest watching that if you haven't yet. So, this week, like I said, nothing happened Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday until Wednesday night. Wednesday night, um, we 
we, we've been posting things on Facebook and everywhere, like, you know, we need a trailer, or we need this, whatever, just like, or like praying for a trailer. And we've been praying and praying and praying about this, like praying that God would provide. And as I said last week, um, we had other problems with the trailer where the, um, where the lights weren't working. So we had other problems with that, and then we prayed about it. And when we stopped at the Walmart, we met those, um, those people in Alabama that happened to know electric an electrician, and he came out and fixed it for us. So that was a blessing in and of itself, and it was great how God worked that way. And he basically did the same thing. He he did he delivered again, and it it's awesome. What happened was Wednesday night. We, um, I don't, I don't know if this person wants to stay anonymous or not, so I'm, I'm not going to s say names or anything, because I don't know if they want to stay anon anonymous or not, so if you do, if you do, then it's okay, if not, um, if, feel free to comment or whatever, it doesn't matter, but, um, for the sake of security, I'll just keep it anonymous. But um, we had a we had someone don't we didn't have someone, but someone had offered to donate um, the fund m money for the funds for the trailer, and it basically covered an entire trailer, which was a blessing because um, we we had nothing. We weren't we didn't know what we were gonna do for the next few days. And someone came in and donated a bunch of money for for a, a new trailer. And Yvonne went that next day and bought a brand new trailer, which I, I'm outside right now. I'm outside our hotel room, and I'm I'm looking at it right now. Um, there are pictures over there are pictures all over Facebook and Instagram. If you want to see it, it's it's nice and silver, and it's actually nicer than our last trailer. And we all agreed it was actually a lot nicer than our last trailer. So. Um, um, the semi-anonymous, semi-anonymous, um, donor, um, I, I, I thank you. Um, we know, we know who it is, I just don't know if they want to be anonymous or not. So, anyway, um, I, I, I thank you so much. You're, you're a blessing, and, uh, we love you. So, that was our, our God story, because we've been praying about this the whole week, and we've been praying about this, you know, we've been praying about it the whole week, and um, we weren't sure what we were going to do, and God provided in some way. And um, so after that, on Thursday, we packed up the trailer, this Thursday, we packed up the new trailer, and we head out to Iowa, or, well, we drove for about 12 hours and stopped in Kansas um, just to get a hotel room just because it was a long ways away. So it was a long, boring trip to Kansas. We stopped there and got a hotel room and all. Woke up at like 6 o'clock in the morning and then drove the rest of the way to Iowa. And I gotta say, I mean, nothing against Iowa, but there is nothing out there. <laughs> like we we really, we literally played a show in the middle of nowhere. So um, I mean, there was a stage there and everything, and they they some they sometimes have venues there. I mean, they sometimes have concerts there at the venue and stuff. And it was cool. There was like a little um, skate park in the in the area too. But um, we were even talking to one of the residents that lived there, who was doing security there, and he said that like everything is basically about like seven miles apart in that town and they're um across like literally across town like about like five or six miles there's an Amish family and there's like there's literally nothing out there so it, it's pretty empty but um it was a good show needless to say and um we enjoyed it and we had a lot of fun um our the next day on that day was Friday so, um, the next day, yesterday, Saturday, we played in K 
Kansas. So we went back to Kansas and played in Kansas. And I don't remember the city. So we played a show. We played a show in somewhere in Kansas, and it was it was awesome. So that that was a good show. Um, I mean, you know, it was. It, it was it was a pre-packed show. Si signed quite a few autographs and took some pictures and stuff. And you know, just the same old, same old. And then today we played a show. And it, you know, it was. This one was actually at a high, at a high school. So. Um, that that was interesting, just because it was at a, it was in a high school auditorium, and they. You know the um, they were really really excited for Manic Drive, which I don't blame them, um, cause, cause they're good, and um, just uh, we noticed that like a lot of high schoolers like Manic Drive, so it, it's interesting to see that to see the different crowds and how the different crowds move, cause there's one there's sometimes like we'll go crowds that are super super energetic when we when we play, and then there are crowds that are like kind of weak. But, um, I mean, not weak, but, like, not as energetic. And, uh, one thing for me, mainly, like, I mean, I give a lot of energy, um, to begin with, but it makes me, it gives me even more energy when the crowd has energy, because then I feed off that energy and go even crazier, which is why, um, at our show in, somewhere in Texas, our last Sunday, it, um, there are a lot of crazy shots and crazy, like, camera shots and stuff like that, um, from, from Chad and from Bruce, and, uh, um, I would, like, I can agree, um, we can all agree, we probably, I mean, I felt like we went, um, the craziest that day, just because it wasn't just a big crowd with, like, over a thousand people, but they were all super energetic. But even like yesterday's show, like it wasn't it wasn't a thousand people. It was like maybe four or five hundred. But they were still energetic. They they were still pretty energetic. Um, so I got to feed off that energy too. Today's show it was like maybe about a hundred people. So it wasn't super energetic. Um, but it was still a good show. I finally got to throw in the signature bass drop. So I was very excited with that because, I mean, we we wanted to do it the whole time, but we just couldn't. It not because we weren't allowed, but because we didn't have time to figure it out and like how we were gonna get it out to the board and stuff like that. Because I wasn't using like if you go if you go to my church, which most most of you do, um, I wasn't using the keyboard that I use for for church and stuff. Um, I was using a trigger pad which is basically a drum pad, but, like, it's electronic, and you can put sounds on it. So all I have to do is just go and hit it with my drumstick as I'm hitting a cymbal or something like that, and it makes a bass drop, you know, because that's what I'm known for at church now. So, um, yeah, I got to use that, and it was fun today. And, you know, we went out and signed some autographs and, um, took some pictures and stuff. Oh, one exciting thing. I met Finn the Human, which is on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, it was this, this girl dressed up as Finn, which was, I mean, kind of weird because usually it's, it's a guy dressed up as Finn, but, I mean, whatever. But um, um, we met Finn the Human from Adventure Time. And Marco and I took a picture, and um, Yvonne photobombed. <laughs> So, I mean, that was this week. It was pretty, pretty solid week. Uh, pretty good week. It was a pretty long week. Not, not necessarily because it was like tiring or anything like that, but it, it felt like I don't know. It felt like it, like a month. So like we've only been out here for, um, like maybe two weeks, and it felt it's felt like we've been out here forever. And we're making, the cool thing is we're making lots of connections with the other bands and stuff. Like, we're, um, we're pretty much best friends with, like, like some of the guys in some of the bands just because, like, they, um, I don't know, they're just really cool. 
so we'll hang out with them and stuff and have some pizza or and whatever just like hang out and talk and which is really cool so that's pretty much it so have a good night